Please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. Okay, as you might imagine, we could answer this question by solving the system for x and for y, and then comparing the two quantities. Now I'll assume that you've already watched the video on solving systems with two equations and two unknowns, and that you know how to solve this particular system. So we're going to use a different approach. Now before we continue, I should tell you that I'm quite certain that there must exist an approach that is better and faster than solving this system for x and for y because I know that the test makers are not interested in my ability to perform these kinds of routine calculations. They're interested in seeing whether or not I'm capable of some outside-the-box thinking. So to solve this question, I'm going to first subtract y from both quantities. When we do this, we get x minus y for quantity a, and we get 0 for quantity b. Now why did I do this? Well, I recognize that if we take the original system, and subtract the bottom equation from the top equation, something really nice happens. First, 3x minus 2x equals x, 2y minus 3y equals negative or minus y, and 5 minus 8 equals negative 3. Now, even though we're unable to eliminate any variables using this approach, we did learn something very valuable. We learned that x minus y equals negative 3. So we can now go to quantity a and replace x minus y with negative 3. When we compare negative 3 with 0, we see that 0 is greater, which means the correct answer here is b.